I'm gonna have to let Stella in. She's whining. She peed on my floor though, so I'm kind of mad at her. Naughty. I'm up here, sake. Sorry. Yes. I forgive you. I wish you had to clean it up. Today, we're gonna talk about one of my favorite things in the world, and that is thrift shopping. <laughs> now, I was surprised to discover that not everybody likes to shop at thrift stores. Are you scared to shop at a thrift store? Or what have you heard about thrifting that kind of freaks you out? <laughs> my name is Angela from Artfully So, and we get creative with our sewing, quilting, and upcycling projects right here. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. So since I really love to upcycle things, I love to go to the thrift store. That's where I find these lonely forgotten treasures to turn into something new. But I guess not everyone thinks that thrifting is a good idea. Recently, I did an online survey of my peeps on social media to ask, why don't you want to go to thrift stores? And I was really surprised by some of the answers. I also consulted an actual thrift store worker to find out some of these concerns, if they're legit or not. This person is a longtime thrift store employee and I'm hoping to get some of these questions answered. So let's get started. Thrifting! Yay or nay? I took notes. So the first reason that some people don't want to shop at thrift stores is that some of the thrift stores are dirty and can be unorganized. Now this is a true legit concern. There are stores that are unorganized, but what I do is I choose not to go to those stores. Thankfully, most cities have at least more than one thrift store. And hopefully in your city, you could find a, a one that is a little more organized. As far as the cleanliness of the store, Sometimes you have to remember that you aren't going into a brand new clothing store. So bring hand sanitizer with you. You can even bring in a small package of wipes. You could also wear gloves if you want to. The other thing I keep in mind is I know that I'm gonna wash this stuff when I get home. Now, if things are stained, ripped, or have a really strong odor, I am not buying that. No way. Okay, next up, number two. Thrift stores don't have a lot of uncommon sized clothing such as petites, plus sizes, or tall sizes. This is another legitimate concern. I think in general, anywhere you shop, it's hard to find those sizes. But that's why upcycling is such a great thing. A lot of times, if something is too small, add something to it to make it bigger. Um, if something's too big, make it a little smaller. If you need help with those projects, check out my other videos. Number three. I'm afraid of catching COVID or bringing home bed bugs from the used items at a thrift store. That is something that I hadn't thought of before. I'm just kidding. No, I have thought of that. It is scary. As far as catching COVID or another sickness, really that fear is real. It, it could happen, but it could happen in any place that you go. You gotta wash your hands. You gotta carry hand sanitizer if you'd like. You gotta keep the distance from other people. Doing all those things will keep you safe. And as far as catching bed bugs or lice or bringing home black mold, the risk is higher when you're buying used items. So what you need to do is a, a thorough inspection. Here she is, the famous Inspector 12. She pokes, she stretches, and that's just the beginning. Turn it inside out, look in the seams, any cuffs, 
um, do the sniff test. If any of those things look weird, you can either put it on the rack or the taking it right to the front desk and say, I don't think this should be on the floor. The other thing that you should do before you bring things into your house is wash them immediately when you get home. One of the habits I've gotten into is keeping the things that I buy in a plastic bag, carrying it right down to the basement and putting it in the washing machine. Now there are times when I buy unwashable things such as that really awesome fur coat that I got at a few videos back. But I cleaned it by hanging it outside in zero degree weather because I live in Wisconsin. But you can also put things in a dry in the dryer and the heat, if it's high enough, will kill any of those germs. I don't know if I'd put a fur coat in the dryer, um, but you can also dry clean things. The money that you saved on the thrift item might justify spending the money to getting it cleaned. One of the things my thrift meister told me, I'm calling the person that I interviewed that works at a thrift store. I'm gonna call that person the thrift meister. When I talked to the thrift meister, they told me some really interesting things that they do to keep their items clean. Now, granted, this is just one thrift store in one town. They believe that a lot of thrift stores follow these same policies because it's what they're expected to do as a store. Also, when COVID hit, all thrift stores were given instructions by the government on how to keep COVID from spreading. So some of the things that the thrift meister told me, when people donate things to the specific thrift store, they're put, the items are put into big cardboard boxes called Gaylords. Never heard of that before. <laughs> but they're big cardboard boxes where they put all of the items and they keep them separated from everything and let them sit for a long period of time. That way, if there is any illness on it, it will hopefully dissipate. And right from the start, anything that has a really bad smell or that is damaged or um, just is kind of suspicious, they don't accept that kind of stuff at their store. But the stuff that looks good, they put in these Gaylords till they feel like it's safe enough to clean. They do thoroughly clean most of the items that they receive and inspect them. If anything looks bad while they're inspecting it, they don't put it on the floor. The other thing that the thrift meister told me is that in the six years that they have worked at this specific store, they have never had an issue with bed bugs. If you are concerned about any store that you shop at or even a hotel or anything place that you go to, you can look up whether or not a place has had bed bugs by going to the online bed bug registry. If you type in an establishment in that registry, they will re show you whether or not a place has had, ever had bed bugs. Okay, number five. I'm uncomfortable wearing used clothing or discarded furniture. There is no way of knowing the history of the item. You're right. There is no way of knowing the history of the item. Yeah, that's kind of scary. Um, I guess because I know I can wash the item, that takes away that worry for me. Where it gets a little scary is those porous items or things that aren't really washable. If you're really nervous about bringing those things into your house, try doing what the Thrift Meister does at their store. Have a safe place that you can store it for a while. Like even with that fur coat, I could have wrapped it up in a bag and put it in a chest freezer for a, a month and that would kill anything in it. Another thing to keep in mind is that even brand new things have been tried on by other people. We live in a world where we have contact with other people. So we're gonna get... Buying brand new does not guarantee 
that it doesn't have germs. But that's okay. We can still live our life in a place where there's germs. We just have to take care of it, wash it. Number six. Some thrift stores don't allow you to try on clothing before I buy it, so I can't tell if it will fit. Plus, most thrift stores don't do returns or only offer store credit. Now, for someone like me that goes thrifting all the time, it's not a big deal. Honestly, I very, very seldom take things back to the store. Even at a regular brand new department store, I am so bad at taking things back to the store. This is what I do when I go to the thrift store. I pick out clothes that I think that I might like, and I kind of put them in piles on my cart, and then I go find the largest big mirror I can find in the store. I hold things up, kind of measure it with my hand. Does it fit? Would it fit on my waist? Would it fit lengthwise? <laughs> Evil. But I kind of just do it by looking. That's where I kind of weed out most of my choices. Once I get it down to the handful of clothes or cart full of clothes <laughs> that I want, if there's a dressing room available, I do try them on. When I'm going thrifting, I'm under the understanding that I'm kind of taking a gamble on things. My mindset is, is that when I go thrift shopping, it's not that I'm necessarily buying the clothes, I'm actually kind of renting the clothes. My good friend Jerry taught me that. So when I go to the thrift store and I look at these clothes and I decide, you know what, I'm gonna rent this shirt for a while. I wear it for a while, maybe I upcycle it. And then when I'm done with it, I take it back to the thrift store and donate it. It's kind of the circle of life. Then I don't feel so bad about spending money on clothing if I think of it like I'm renting it rather than buying it. You can try it, see if the mindset works for you. As far as in-store credit, hey, I'll take it. Number seven. When shopping at a thrift store, it can take a long time to find what I want or need. That is so true. But that's totally part of the fun of thrifting at least for me, when I know that I need a specific piece of clothing for a specific date, I'm more likely to go buy new. I have a mission and I need that item right now and it's specific, whether it's a color, size, you know, underwear. We're not gonna buy that at thrift store. But for me, the hunt is the fun part. <laughs> I love looking through things and seeing what I can find. I like going to places where I can think, how can I turn this into something else? That's my creative brain at work. If you're on a mission for a specific piece of clothing, it is true. Thrifting takes a lot of time and sometimes you don't ever find it. That's when you can use your backup department store. Number eight, the last concern that came up in the survey that I was giving, oftentimes I can buy brand new clothing on sale for the same cost or less as used clothes at thrift stores. If you only thrift shop for the price, how can I say this? Honestly, thrifting is not just about getting cheaper clothing. It's also about sustainability. It's amazing when you walk into a thrift store and you see the amount of clothing available that's used. The same thing can happen when you walk into a department store. There are new clothes on the rack and not only new clothes today, but when you walk in in a month or two, there's gonna be a whole new set of clothing sitting there, brand new. We have to think about where do these clothes come from? Who is making them? What resources are we using to make them? It's really important for our future 
how we shop today. Buying secondhand is one of the most sustainable choices you can make. Lastly, I think I'd like to say is that the best thrifting store may actually be our own closet. By looking at what I already own, thinking of ways that I can change it up a little bit or pair it with something new, I can be conscious of using the things that I already own. If you need help with your upcycling projects, contact me at artfullyso at gmail.com or leave me a comment below. I'd love to help you. I'd love to help. So have you changed your mind about thrifting? Do you have any more concerns that we didn't address today? If so, write down in the comments. Well, thanks for joining me. Remember, you can artfully sew. I got this from a thrift store. 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 Not a thrift store. She is a rescue dog. She's got a lot of issues. Thrift Meister. <laughs> I've decided to call the person I interviewed from who works at a thrift store. I'm gonna call that person. I'm such a rambler. This is really difficult. So, what you need to do is a thorough expense. You. Why? What are the the questions? Why can't I talk today?